going to talk about voicing today and I'm going to use the Reaper song as an example because Schumann in this Reaper song has redundant theme. Sometimes it's in the top voice and sometimes it's in the middle voice. Um, and so it's wrapped also with an alto and a bass. When it first starts, um, he has an interesting syncopation. This is in 6 eighths time, which you should think of as two beats to the measure. It's called duple compound. 3 eighths equals one beat, and the next group of three is the other beat. Normally, you would think you would lean on the first beat and lighten the second, but Schumann puts a little accent on the second beat, which gives a syncopation. Um, and there must be a reason for that because the reaper is, you know, harvesting the crops and I guess it continues to harvest the, the crops in a very uh, mechanical way, although you don't want to play this mechanically, that's for sure. Uh, so the way I would um, phrase the left hand, which has the syncopated tied note, it has a dotted quarter tied to another, is a little delay on it like this. One, two. will do the same rhythm. And we're in C major, by the way. The piece starts in C and then it has some modulation. Your practice is like that. The top voice, um, is, is the leader here, is the soloist. And again, you want to feel this, this nice group of two. Then of course repeats. If you put it together in the slower speed, you get quicker, but I'm going to keep playing it slowly for now. The next um, line, he uh, the, the voice is a little bit changed. The middle voice becomes the melody, and he's modulated into G major. So the, you might you flesh out the middle voice first, just singularize it for a moment. voice is more active now. Instead of fifths, you have and that's going to repeat. And because you have a repetition again, the second line into the third line, which is re repeat of the second line, you might want to voice a little differently. First, you might want to bring out the middle voice, which reflects what we heard at the beginning, only in G major. So let's see if we can do that. Now when he repeats it the next time, we'll bring out the upstairs. The upstairs is this now. is voiced with the upstairs <clears throat> coming out and the kind of chordal beneath it, the chordal feeling. That's only one time. Now what we have next is an interlude and unison, so it means both hands are doing the same thing. So we really have one voice played with two hands. Um, and this is forte suddenly. 
and it's, it still has a rolling motion, and you still want to capture the, the two of 6 eight. but there's no syncopation here at all. It just rolls out in 6 eight, which is 3 plus 3. <laughs> terms of voicing and you can again pick different voices out you can even do permutations like this in other words the middle and the bottom or you could do the top Know the piece better if you can. If you can um, pick various lines and combine them and permute them, and that means you're listening to all of them when you do those kinds of things. So um, the mention of marking for this is between 76 and 84. Let's see what it is. 76 would be the lower end. Of this. You never want to play particularly with the metronome where it gets very mechanical. Let's see what this gives us. That's 76. So that's the lower end.